Well, hello there, everybody. This is Nintendo Death Machine here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got 18 gold skulls to the well, 18 gold skull to the spirits, and in this episode, we are going to get the remaining 12 that are left for us to find. So, let's go on and jump right into this. Right, we got one right here, right in front of my face. Come right to daddy. Come to daddy. Come to papa. Right, so I. There is um a sprout or another one of those um Wait, do I have any more bugs? I don't think I have any more bugs. Damn it. Wait, uh, do I Oh crap, I fell. I fell. I'm pretty sure I don't have any more bugs anyway. Yeah, I don't. So I'm going to have to go out to the entrance of the dungeon again and get some more bugs because there is another uh soft bean patch that we're going to have to use bugs to get another gold skull to the out of. So yeah, let's get some more bugs. I only need one more bug and that's about it. Uh, yeah, because there are only three bugs you have to use in, in three soil patches. Even though there are more than, you know, there are more than three soil patches in the dungeon. As you can plainly see, there's one back there. But that only helps you get the gold skulls that you couldn't get if you didn't have the hook shots. So that's why that beans, that's why that bean patch is there. But, uh... Now, if, now that mishap has been fixed, <laughs> we can fly to the other side using the decking mask. And uh, that's where our soil patch should be. I think it's on the other side. If it's not on the other side, I'm going to kill myself. Because if it's on this side, I'm pretty sure it's like at the end. Yeah, it is. I can see it right there. Can you see it? It's like near the pots in the very corner of the room. Yeah, I can see you hiding. What the hell? No! I cannot believe I just fell again. Uh, right, you know what, I'll meet you guys back on top of the fl on the top floor again, so I'll see you all then. Man, I'm the biggest idiot in the world. How did I screw that up? I do not know how the hell I managed to screw something like that up. I pressed, like, I had my finger lightly on the X button, and then I accidentally pressed X and I fell down. That's how that happened. <laughs> but anyway, let's get our bugs inside this hole. And so we can get our prize, which is the gold skull to the our twentieth one, I think it is. So come on out, reveal yourself, stop hiding, get out of there. Yeah, this is our twentieth one. I was hoping that this video would be a very short video, like nine minutes or something like that. But I don't think it's gonna be nine minutes. I think it's gonna be like fifteen minutes, like my last Majora's Mask video, which was about fifteen minutes. Because I've already recorded Pokemon, and that's 33 minutes, and I was like, holy crap, I recorded for 33 minutes? It didn't feel like 33 minutes, but there you go. But time flies when you're having fun, I guess. You just don't realise it. But, uh, yeah. Right, so let's get this one right here, because this one's the easiest one, obviously, because I've just came straight to it. Well, that one, actually, that one's the easiest one. It's just right there, right in front of you. As soon as you come in the room, that's probably going to be the first area you're going to come to. Straight to the edge of the... If I can actually get it. Well, that's on its leg, dude. That should kill it. I'm attacking its leg with my hook shot, and it's not doing any damage to it. Right in the butt. <laughs> right in the spidery butt. Yeah. Now, can I get my spirit? Can I get my spirit? No, I can't. Right, before we jump down and get this spirit, I want to hit this switch first. Because if you don't hit the switch, you're not going to be able to get to the other side of that platform. So make sure you do that before you jump off, otherwise you're going to have to go through the whole entire way of getting back into this room again. From going through the uh, room with the giant pots. Where the Deku scrub's been smoking pot outside the pots, in the pots, with the pots. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, right, let's get this one up on top of this cave, so it's 23. I think we're doing pretty good progress here, so we might be able to get this video to a relatively short one. And I don't know how many uh, skull tethers are inside these honeycomb hives, but I'm pretty sure there are two. And there are no wasps in any of these, so we're fine. It doesn't. I'm not really bothered if I shoot them all. It's, it's worth checking, you know, because you don't know if there are going to be any hiding in there or if there aren't. And if they're hiding in the honeycombs, I don't think they make any sound, so you've got to make sure that you shoot all the honeycombs to see if they're all in hiding inside there, because they don't make the sound, I don't think. But uh, anyway, 
Now that's another magic bean spot. You do not need, well you can place it in there if you want to, but basically what this does, it takes you to that little cave right there, but you can make it to that, in, I know it doesn't look like you can make this jump to that cave, but you actually can make this jump to that cave, or that little entrance right there, not cave. But yeah, what this would do is originally take you to there, but you can make this jump, and how you do it, you have to strafe. Well, it's kind of like strafing, but it is a really hard jump to make, so prepare to be stressed out if you've never done this before. But if I do this my first, well, that was easy, okay. <laughs> Ignore what I said, I managed to do it first try. But uh, I'm not being cocky or anything. <laughs> because I bet if I played that on my N64, I'd end up falling off all over the place. Like if I was doing it off screen. But anyway, well, we got ourselves a gossip stone here. And there's a gold skull, so they're trying to hide, it, hide away inside the grass. Beware of tall grass, there are Pokemon hiding in here. You do not when they are going to attack, but they can attack at any moment. So be aware and use your use your senses to be aware of your surroundings, <laughs> I guess. Alright, so now what you want to do is, uh, well you can shoot the honeycombs in here as well, I guess, because I think there are some hiding in some of these as well. And I think that was just a wasp that I let, th that I let free just then. And yeah, I can hear it. Crap! Stay away from me! Ugh. Die, wasp! Die! I'll use my spin attack if you don't leave me alone. I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> I'm gonna... What the hell is my... Did you just see that? Look, my hookshot's going... Like, boo! Boo! Yeah, it's like moving back really far back. Really far back. That's messing up my aim, kinda. But, uh... I don't know what's causing that. Hang on, let me get a good shot on this honeycomb. I think this is the one that has our spider in it. Well, it must be. It's the last honeycomb that there is to shoot out. So let's take this thing down. No, there isn't. Wait. Hang on a second. There we go. I knew there would be one hiding in one of those. Because there's always bound to be a gold skull to the hiding in a honeycomb if there is a honeycomb inside the room. And as you've plainly seen, that every honeycomb is shot in every room, that there's always one hiding in there, so make sure you shoot out every honeycomb. And get all these before they get in the grass, otherwise they're going to be really hard to find, because they do go in the grass, I believe. <laughs> so pre so to prevent that from happening, just kill them all. And anyway, we got ourselves all 30 gold skull to this, so now what's left to do is to go to the entrance and claim our prize. Well, that was very quick, actually. Yeah, I managed to do that quicker than I expected. <laughs> so let's quickly make our way to the entrance and get our prize. Which I'm not going to spoil. But it's something awesome. Anyway, let's have... Let's have at it. He's returned to normal, and he's got... What's, what's that on your face, huh? Looks like that eye that you, were, that you had when you was a spider. In fact, it looks exactly the same. That speak to you. Oh, I've been saved. I thought that I was going to die. You see, a while back, someone told me I could become rich, and he gave me this mask. He said the instructions were inscribed somewhere in here, but when I went to look, I was cursed. If I had known it would be such an ordeal, I would never have taken it. Here, take it. It's yours. Da 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 da. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> I played the wrong friggin' tune. <laughs> it's the mask tune. You got the mask of truth. This is the same mask that Sheikah spoke of. It goes do 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 not do na na na. <laughs> this mask allows you to hear and understand the wisdom of gossip stones and th the thoughts of animals. I've had enough of this. As soon as I get to get it together, I'm going home. Yeah, you should go home and have some rest, dude. You've been out here for quite a while in the middle of nowhere, where there's no civilization, where no one can find you, and. You've been trapped here in that awful state. I feel so sorry for you, dude. But anyway, we got ourselves the Mask of Truth. So let's read what this dog says. Let's give this mask a try. Ruff, ruff, stupid master. His eyes are always filled with greed and desire. Wow, you hate your master, huh? Well, here you go. Have at him. Attack him. Go, wild dog. Bite his face off. Use all your mighty power and bite force and all sorts of crap that you can do. Like, use your... I don't know, conjure up some kind of spell or something. Some fire spell. <laughs> Not as if a dog could do that anyway. 
But anyway, guys, I'm going to end off the video here and continue on the next episode. So in the next video, I'm going to kind of, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a read of that gossip stone, actually, and see what it says, because I've never read that gossip stone before, and I'm curious. So I'll start off the video in that room, probably. But anyway, until then, take care, everybody. Oh, I haven't actually explained what I'm going to do. Yeah, we're going to go to the Zora Hall and do the uh, guitarist thing, which is also going to be something that's going to be fun. You know, doing stuff with the band, the Indigos, I guess they're called. But anyway, until then, take care, everybody. This is NDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.